The Vine is a beautiful 16th century residence in southern England, whose art collection preserves a Roman gold ring with a peculiar history. This ring, in fact, links a curse cast in the 4th century to a very famous literary work of the 20th century. The Golden Ring was discovered in 1785 in an agricultural field near the ruins of the Roman city of Calewa Atrebatum in Hampshire and it immediately struck the attention of scholars because it combined some pagan elements with Christian ones. The ring has ten facets and a bezel, on which is engraved the profile of a female deity that an inscription on the sides identifies with Venus, the goddess Venus. The engraved letters are mirrored so that when the ring was used as a seal to sign documents, the name of the goddess was legible in the right direction. Some time later, a different hand engraved a clearly Christian inscription on the facets of the ring, in less well-formed characters. Senechiane viva si inde, that should have meant Senechianus, may you live in God. The inexperienced engraver, however, engraved twice the letter I of the word in, leaving no room for the final O of Deo. For some time, the mixture of pagan and Christian characters in the British ring of the 4th century remained only a curiosity, until in 1929 archaeologist Motima Wheeler related the ring of Senechianus to a particular object found in the temple of the god Nodens in Ledne, more than 100 kilometers from Kalewa Atrebatum, a defixio, a lead plate with an engraved curse. The defixiones were Roman magic formulas engraved on lead plates, a kind of curses, which asked the invoked deity to strike an opponent of the person who cast the curse. The lead plate was then folded and inserted inside a temple or in a spring, and sometimes even in a grave, so that it would reach the god. In Ledness de Fixio, a certain Silvianus invokes the Celtic god Nodens, claiming to have lost the ring, and to have donated half of the value of this ring to the god. There were Nodenti, for the god Nodens. Silvianus has lost the ring and has donated one half of its worth to Nodens. In return for the donation, Silvianus asks Nodens to deny good earth to those who are called Senecianus, until the ring is returned. Inter quibus nomen Among those named Senechianus, permit no good health until it is returned to the temple of Nodens. The ring of Kalewa Atrebatum and the Lednes de Fixio reconstruct the history of an ancient theft and the ensuing curse of the thief. The pagan Silvianus possessed a signet ring of fine workmanship dedicated to the goddess Venus. The Christian Senechianus stole this gold ring from Silvianus and engraved it with his own name and with the Christian formula. Silvianus turned to the divine powers, invoking the intervention of the god Nodens to strike Senechianus as long as he hadn't returned the ring. Senechianus lost the ring, which was then found centuries later. But what does the theft of this ring of the 4th century have to do with the famous novel of the 20th century. When Willa related the ring of Senechianus with Silvianus de Fixio, he consulted the professor of Anglo-Saxon language in Oxford to find out more about the god Nodens mentioned in the curse. It was probably no coincidence that a few years later that same professor, who answered to the name of John Ronald Ruel Tolkien, composed and published a sag at whose center is a ring last desired, found and then lost again. The One Ring from the Lord of the Rings by Tolkien was therefore inspired by a Roman gold ring, stolen 16 centuries ago 
and subject to a terrible chaos.